Yeah. Okay, well that was uh, Phil Collins with the studio and we have the man himself here. Welcome to Australia. Well, Welcome thank you, Malia. Nice um, to you. must be absolutely delighted. The track's from uh, No Jacket Required and the album's number one yeah. in America. Yeah, it's very awesome happy. Single. Very, very happy man. Um, you must spend an awful lot of time in the studio. Yeah, I tend to do a lot of work um, outside my own thing and outside Genesis. Right. A bit of a workaholic, but that's the way I like it. And you're on the road now. Do you like being on the road? Yeah, well, I've done it for a few months, so I can't wait to get off it. But I mean, it's um, then it's good to get in the studio. Right. You've been there for a few months, you want to get out of there and get on the road again, so you can never be happy with really. it. All right, well, listen, uh, we'll move along with the show. Julian Lennon, uh, great to see him on the chart. Yeah. With his David nice. album. Good bloke. And um, here's Julian with Say You're Wrong. Well, that's just some of the artists that have been nominated for the awards, and uh, it'll be very interesting to see who, in fact, uh, come out uh, taking the prizes. Uh, back to back to uh, yourself. Um, do you enjoy sort of working with other artists? I mean, like with Philip and, and Frida. Yeah, I find it very interesting because um, it's usually music that I like to listen to anyway. I right. mean, like the R&B thing, and with Eric, it was his history, of course. I'm very aware of, and uh, it's just good to get that together and just make a different different combination, really. Right. So um, I enjoy it all. Well, do you ever get a chance to go out and see any sort of young new bands in England? No, to be honest, I'm there, whenever I'm, I'm there and I'm not working, right. I just do normal things like washing up, right. washing television and stuff. Well, listen, I tell you what, we've got, uh, we've got uh, a band that emerged last year from, from Melbourne. Uh, they're called Kids in the Kitchen, talking about right. washing up and washing <laughs> the dishes. And they've got the new single out, and here it is, something that you said, Kids in the Kitchen. Well, that was King with Love and Pride. Well, here we are under the wonderful Sydney weather. Sort of, yeah. Sort of countdown, yeah. Um, the dance disco market has um, become a really big influence, not only around the world, but also in Australia. Yeah. Um, and tracks like Easy Lover and the studio are, are, are big dance tracks already. Right. Um, do you go out to purposely sort of, you know, make some dance tracks like Well, that? I did on, on the new album, I did um, try and right. make some, some dance stuff and it sort of succeeded to a somewhat extent, I think. Well, this next band are from Sydney, uh, from their hometown, and uh, they're, they're sort of a dance group. And this is our back to our studios, because they're down there. And here is Rock Melons with a big track around the Sydney market. Well, that was Stephen Tintin Duffy, better known now, or he likes to be known as Stephen Duffy, Duffy with Kiss Me. Um, I mean, English artists seem to sort of come and go so quickly yeah. on the charts. They do. You turn around for two or three weeks in England, and there's a whole bunch of new people you've never heard of. Before. Right. Which well, is good, you know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that at all. It just means that there's constantly people are changing and right. and they're being challenged all the time, which is good. Well, we've got singers going, becoming actors, and actors becoming singers. And in this case, it's an actor um, who's a brother of a very famous singer in this country, James Rain. His name is David Rain, mm -hmm. and he, along with his friends, have put together this particular uh, studio uh, version and clip uh, back in our studios. And it's Cats Under Pressure with Let Me Be. All right, that was the boss with I'm on fire, and uh, what a great <laughs> concert tour we've had of him. <laughs> yes, he's like that, isn't he? Sadly, is. Did you get a chance to catch up with him? Uh, no, no, no. He's going to come and see us, I think, in Sydney when he can, when he finishes. Right. Which is something he's going to come Saturday. But I haven't had a chance to see him. My wife's in love with him, so I should get a chance at some point, probably. Well, we've had a, a feast of a feast of tours, including yourself, Spandau Ballet, Bruce Springsteen. Mm. It's all been a bit much for us all, I think. <laughs> now, listen. Uh, coming up now is. Um, a chap called Frankie, Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Mm. Um, a lot of people have accused this band of being a studio band. Mm. What is your opinion? <laughs> Probably right. Right. But I quite like the song, so. Well, here is Frankie with his new one, Welcome to the Pleasure Day. The hottest record of the week. Thanks, Gavin. Well, with the weather in Sydney becoming slightly inclement, <laughs> um, thanks a lot for being with us on the show. Oh, my pleasure, man. Um, you've pleasure. got the Opera House in Sydney tonight, mm -hmm. and two more Sydney entertainment concerts. Yep. Then on to Melbourne, my hometown, and then to Adelaide and Perth. And then the world. Then the world. Well, listen again, congratulations on No Jacket Required. Thank you. Uh, great album. And also on, uh, on Chinese Walls. I think that that uh, with Philip is just a, a wonderful album. Yeah, we Love enjoyed it. making it. So right. Fun. And uh, we go out with a song which uh, has hit number one within three weeks, uh, like Band Aid did um, before Christmas. And this, of course, is USA for Africa right. with We Are the World. Do you like that song? Ice Grown on me. Yeah. I didn't like it the first time I heard it, but I like it very much now. Right. Well, good night. And it's good night from me. And it's good night from him. And it's good night <laughs> Australia.